definitely be one hobbit hole in this jungle. What are you doing in my swamp? My fellow hobbits, the age of men is upon us. I was looking throughout the land and I heard news that there is another faction that thinks that they are more hobbity than we are. As we all know, we are the first and true hobbits. Just look around. We are in our own rendition of the Shire. This is completely unacceptable. So, I challenge ye both Mumbo and Grian to war. But this isn't just any battle. I challenge you all to a build battle. Yes, we will not prove our might with brute force or cunningry or YouTube comment section haters. Instead, we shall fight to the death with our skills of building Lord of the Rings things. I think I prefer to finish this part more. Yeah, this part more. Alright, well, scary. with this in mind, let's get to work, guys. Okay, Dark Wrath. We found that um, dragon egg that you had scouted out off camera, and brought it back. And I made a little spot to hatch it. And we we need since you already laid claim to this dragon egg, I'm holding it. 
Why is there a zombie in the house? Um, so, since you already laid claim to it, I um, need to wait for you to hatch it. Um, yeah, although we're going to have to build a quick fence around um, in order to... Alright, right-click the egg. It's going to take a few minutes, though, so just right-click it now. So, this is just when the server has been updated, and, um, there appear to be some animals here that really shouldn't. There are, for one, there are baby pigs absolutely everywhere. And they're lagging the place to death. Um, so I'm gonna have to fix that. Um, not exactly sure how other than just slamming them all, but they're in the house. They're in here. And there and here and I don't get it.
Alright, so we are back, and it's been a couple days since what you've seen, but we have made lots of progress. So, namely, we have been working on the zoo, clearing out that region, while we figure out how we're going to plan our whole Hobbit build region. So, I spent some time working on this archway design entrance thing with a variety of leaves, and through here... I like the floor and the ceiling, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the walls or not. And then I have to figure out how to finish this tunnel at the very end. But the main thing we did was clear out this huge space, and TJ was a big help with that. Hello, TJ. Hello. <laughs> I helped. <laughs> yeah, quite a lot. We have cleared a substantial area of land. It just... Yeah, we've got plenty of space, so the plan is to go about this width for the zoo, maybe a little further back, and then all the way over to the mesa biome that's over that way, so that we don't take up the entirety of the forest biome, but we still have lots of room to build. Um, so our first area is going to be Asian-themed, so lots of different animals from the continent of Asia, and that's probably going to be built somewhere over here, so that it can also mix with the portion of jungle habitat that we have cleared out. Although, one thing I want to mention as we get into more of our zoo building stuff, we will get into more talks about conservation aspects, and I came across something um, that happens to be in Minecraft's code, but brings up a bit of an interesting conservation idea that involves these ocelots. So, one thing I noticed, if you explore into the jungle, you don't find as many ocelots as you do right on this edge habitat. And for those of you who don't know, edge habitat basically refers to um, the area of land that crosses biomes. And generally, that's not something you want if you're trying to preserve a species. You don't want to have a lot of edge habitat because it's neither, for instance, this forest biome or this jungle biome, and so a lot of creatures can't inhabit this. But ocelots, oddly enough, in real life, are a mixture of tropical and scrubland. So it makes some sense to me that they would appear more in this kind of habitat, even though it's just Minecraft's code. But we're going to pretend like that's not the case, because this is learning, yay, learning about animals and stuff. But if you guys have any <laughs> other theories as to how this could have happened, please comment the, down below, and we'll see what we can learn. So one other fact of the matter is that we got another new dragon, and I know that this looks identical to Smog, but it is not in fact Smog, as evidenced by the fact its name is not Smog. Um, <laughs> it totally is. It's also um, missing the Misty Mountain Cold banners that Dark Wrath made for Smog. So this is another male fire dragon, and if anyone has good ideas for names for him, just feel free to comment down below, and we'll see if we can get some cool Scout, um, because we desperately need more dragons. It's really hard to fly between here and the base, which is all the way over back there. Like, walking is a pain, even with things like this hang glider that are absolutely magical, by the way. Um, but anyway, that's about it for this episode. Thank you all for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. I've certainly enjoyed making and editing it, and I'll hope you'll tune in next time. See ya! Bye! <laughs>